Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Switch here with another Magic the Gathering action. It's going to be the same deck as before, as yesterday, but although I'm going to show you guys what we are playing right now. What I'm playing right now is a band control, where some variation of the band controls. It's, it's just going to show you like a quick peek, although I forget to put the, uh, the code for yesterday uh, video, but I will do this right now. I mean, after I finish playing the game. So we're playing with the Broker's Veteran to get extra counters, a shield cult counters we have in the Negates, two Negates, uh, three Test of Talents, um, then four Inspiration Overseer just to draw extra cards, Celestial Regulator to be able to tap the opponent's creature and it's not going to be untapped during the, his next untap step, but it's not the permanent effect, it just will be untapped on the next turn. A Broker's Ascendancy to have the, basically, the counters plus one plus one on every creature and every loyalty counter on our um, Planeswalkers, but in this deck I don't really play much of them, but at some point and in some other scenario we probably might do a Broker's Shine, which is an excellent tool, and uh, we will see that in a minute. The Lagrarius, the Magpie, obviously, it's a great card. The Populates as a Wrath of God with the draw extra card, with we actually controlling the multicolor card, which we usually are. And then we have the Wandering Emperor, two copies of this one, the Altpath, which is like useless in this deck. But I just play because I'm a casual player, and basically, those decks are sort of budgets. A budget decks, although if you might thought they are not there, they are. I'm just simply due to the fact that I don't have the wild cards to create all the cards, to craft all the cards, the Sanctuary Warden, and just is sort of the win con here, just the huge Angel 655 Flyer, and with the ability to actually remove a counter, not necessarily from the Sanctuary Warden, we can actually remove the counter from other a uh, creature uh, we controlling with the counter and uh, there we go and then we can draw the extra card and actually create this decent token which is one one and then we have the emira's call unfortunately unfortunately just want to copy i really wish to have more although i'm not really fancy to craft and uh, this mythic in uh, in a particular uh, just simply because um i don't know i mean i just want to keep my uh Cards open, wild cards. We'll see what's going to be uh, my next week deck. Right now, it's a band control. Tomorrow is a Friday, obviously, so it's going to be a Friday draft, which I really suck <laughs> at it. So, uh, will be like uh, lots of mistakes, probably, or, or i just not going to be able to do the deck like I really wanted to do. And then uh, my first sealed deck, which was the last Sunday, I was actually great. I won five games. So in sealed, I'm still doing lots of mistakes, but on the sealed deck, uh, I sort of have like some idea how to build around it. Obviously, we're just choosing two colors or maybe close to three colors. But with the drafting, I don't know. I'm not really good at it, but maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll see. Anyway, the rest, we're just closing the deck with the planes, island forests, and then some dual sort of lands. And then I'm just trying like four evolving whites to actually... Uh, you know, fetch for the forest, and then we have the broker's hideout also for the forest, but, well, simply we are going to use this for the other lands. So, with that being said, actually we have like eight lands which are able to thinner out our deck to be able to draw more consistently other cards. Okay, so that's actually done. And then we can just start and play the game, which I'm playing best of one, just simply because I don't have a time and the tools, <laughs> and by tools I mean obviously the uh, nice proper deck with the sideboard, but at some point, at some point, I I'm actually aiming to September, so it's going to be like really casual content, and hopefully from this day to September I will be able to uh, grind a card to basically create nice, decent deck, like at least one, you know, one deck, one proper deck okay though so we can start with this hand definitely we are having like freelance already on the hand we have like additional drawing card we have the two mana drop which is like our the first first drop possible because we don't have any one mana drops and then we having the test of talent so there is no really question question about like do we want to start obviously we want to start with this hand 
Although we just might consider to, well, looking for some other land, and but then we are going to be tapped. So basically, yeah, I'm just going to play the tapped land, and then the next turn we're just going to play the broker's veteran uh, in order to do nothing with it. Like wait, what? Yeah, well, basically this is like a dead card uh, sort of thing because we don't really want to attack if it's anything on the board, and also we don't really want to block with it just simply because we, if we don't have the other card, uh, we are not able to put our counter on it. So that kind of you know defeat the purpose of playing this card although we right now tapped but i think i'm not going to wait i'm just going to play this one and then we're just going to play free life and we're able to play the angel and the angel is going to give us the land so we can attack obviously he's not going to block i just assume that because he's free too so why should he and then we're having the ward pay free life oh my god so that's actually quite a good card because we are not really ab uh, able to remove it because the ward is, is like we need to pay extra free, free life although do we really care i don't think so uh it's tapped right now anyway so we have like free mana and uh, we can do sort of like lots of things okay i assume um i don't really want to do the tap land although do we need the four mana that's a big question do we need right now four mana i mean we can actually go with 4 mana and then just play the Wandering Emperor as an instant spell. And we are going to do so. So this is going to be the white and then we are ready to attack with both creatures. And basically what we are going to do, we are just going to aim the Exile target tap creature. But with that being said, because I'm a new player and I don't know all the mechanics, like well, 90% of the stuff. I just don't know how the ward is working. Whenever a permanent with ward becomes the target of a spell ability, an opponent comes. Okay, so this is going to be ability. So we're just going to play a pay free um, free life in order to pay the cost, which that kind of is all right, right? Because we are going to lose free life anyway. So that's I'm going to do this. I'm just going to pay free life extra. So uh, we are going to be on the 12. It's uh, nothing wrong with it. Um, that's fine. Actually, quite a good deck, isn't it? Like to having those two cards. And we're just going to pass. He's going to attack. So we re we are going to remove uh, at least one card from the board, and then probably the second one we are going to tap. We'll see about that. Although we're just missing like one life because we're actually getting two life from the um, from from the ability. So yes, obviously we want to pay this, and then you're just going to get two life. So you just lose one life, righty? Um, what do I want to do right now? I'm just going to get some land, and this land is going to be a green mana because we don't have any green. Green is good. Especially if you're playing the deck and you need a green, right? Okay, um, and then right now we can do what we can do. Actually, buff our whatever. We can buff the angel, though. I'm just going to attack with both. He might block, he might not block. You don't want to block, okay. We're fine with that. I don't really know what his deck all about because it seems like nothing happening and this is like kind of like we don't really care about this card at all. Um, I don't even know what that do. Some spiders apparently, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Or uh, maybe we, we're supposed to be scared about it. Do we? And do we need uh, more blue mana? Um, I don't think so. Like, do we need any other? Like, one green is enough right now. Okay, I'm um, just thinking. What do I want to play? Do I want to remove the spider? Nah, why should I? You can just play the blockers, right? Okay. 
I'm just going to search for the land just simply to thinner out our deck for the blue. As we'll do. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to attack with both. Um, then obviously this guy is going to be blocked. And that's really great because then we can tap um, this 3-2 guy. Whatever his name. The witch. Okay. Although... <gasps> they have a reach! I didn't notice that. Oh my god, those spiders have the reach, right? Jumping with menace and reach. Oh my god. That was like a Jesus. That was all wrong. Okay, just going to end the turn. Yeah. Silly me. I'm not going to say like I forget. I just just didn't read this through. Okay, I'm just going to pass. Um, I can draw the cards. Yeah, that's alright. Although I think we might be dead in a minute. So, we need to draw the cards. Depopulate exactly, to be honest. Yep, that's the one. That's the card we're looking for, too. Exactly, that's the card. Okay, that will do. And then we need to draw another two cards. Oh my god. 11, 10. What's going on here? It's with trample, whatever. Demon, gold, titan, attacks or block, sacrifice a creature. You need to sacrifice a creature. Right. Um... Yeah, well, I guess we need to play the blocker, right? I'm just going to do some trick, like play this, tap the creature, and then we can play that, and so you're having the counter, so he's not going to be untapped on the next turn. Well, he's actually out of... So that's the thing, we need to have the counter already to do that ability. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. So that was a mistake then. Right now I'm not able to draw the, like two cards. Okay, so we're like dead already or we're going to be dead? I mean, we can still win this game really easily because if you don't have trample, we might win, but apparently we are not going to win. Okay, the land. <laughs> just going to be on the one life. Depopulate, yeah, we need depopulate, uh, and we might be good to go. We can still win this game. Although, well, in that case, probably that might be hard to win. If we don't have any blockers. <laughs> oh well, shit happens, right? Think right now what I'm actually what should I improve during the gameplay? What mistakes I done? Okay, now we have a uh, free mana. We have the angel for drawing the cards. We have a deep play two mana drop. So obviously we're just going to keep all of that, <clears throat> starting with the tap land, 
and then following by I guess blue mana because we're having the white mana and then we're just looking for the green um yeah I'm just going to do the blue and do like so and then we have the angel and then we have two brokers ascendancies without any green but the green is going to be soon uh, maybe right now even so yay <laughs> and right now it's going to be a madness it's going to be like a really crazy game for us so the opponents need to remove our creatures although I think I'm just going to play the angel another angel do we want to play the angel or do we want to play the Rokers ascendancy I'm just going to attack with both I don't think so he's going to block anyway which is great I'm kind of greedy and I want to go with the angel but although I think like two brokers ascendancy are like really crazy good as well And this flyer is going to be like 5-4. So yeah, I'm just going to go with this. It's not going to attack this free, block this free too, because the whole idea is to deal as much damage as possible by basically hitting for one. But then he probably don't realize like what's, going, what's happened. Like he actually supposed to block this one because he's, he's going to be dead right now. Unless, I don't know. Something happening. And at this point it doesn't really matter what we are going to play because we are getting like lots of counters. So um the extra land will be great just to play the Elspeth. And then draw the card from the deck and put the table. Put on the battlefield. Okay, so we have an extra sort of some mass removal and yeah that's what I've been talking about. Do I really wanna do it? I don't think so. We're just gonna go like with the angel and with the another creature. Because we just have the mana and the next turn is going to be the out buff. And <laughs> there you go. This is crazy, isn't it? This is crazy. Like really, really crazy. I'm just going to play the Elspeth, right? And just do the minus three. Search for the card and put on the table. And <laughs> that's a good one. We can put this one, right? Do we want to do this? Or do we want to actually exile? I'm going to test this mechanic. Enters the battlefield. And then we can actually exile, right? Yeah, so. Why not? I think we're fine with this one. Yeah, that's crazy. But also it's crazy to put actually the Broker's Ascendancy. I think like we need to actually run in this like two to maybe three copies because this is like great value, isn't it? Like, or maybe two copies, like maybe one more copy of this card for five mana. Yeah, but also I don't know what I supposed to cut from this deck, but I think it's great anyway. Like, this is really crazy. I really wish to put also like one mana drops. Because that will like gradually combine like one mana drop, two mana drop, three mana drop. Or like one mana drop, two mana drop and then the uh, Broker's Ascendancy. Um, I'm just gonna jump to the deck. Don't really wanna waste a lot of time. Editing the deck, but just quick pick. Maybe like removing one test of talents. Um, maybe the Lagrella, like maybe like free copies because at the end of the day it's a legendary card. 
I'm actually playing 3, 3D Purple. I said that I'm playing four copies of it. Wondering Emperor is kind of pricey, although the Elspeth is pricey as well. Thanks to Ray War then. Then having like just the lands. But that's the tricky part to try to cut something. I really like the Angel because we can draw the card and then we're having the body. Maybe one Lagrella to re being removed and then just go with one Elspeth. Do I have the Mythics? Yeah, we are having the Mythics. We might try to do this. Although, this is still a great card to just play. Um, Elspeth. Choose up to one target creature, put a plus, plus, plus one, plus one counter and... A counter from a monk flying first drag lifelink or vigilance on it. Well, that's a great tool to get extra life or maybe or maybe first strike. Do I really want to craft the Elspeth? And then we need to remove the Lagrella. Although I feel like four copies are. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I will try. Play extra. Copy of. Aspuff. Yeah, just like extra copy and that will do. It's really expensive, but also kind of good way to add extra stuff stuff on the table with having a planeswalker. Okay, that's really like a huge deal, right? Just the thing is to having one copy of whatever card in the deck. In some scenarios, just this card might be on the bottom of the deck and then we are not able to get that. So that's the issue, <laughs> if we really want to. And I think it's, it's useful, this card is useful. Okay though, we're having like a freelance, we're having like really dodgy opening, we need to mulligan this. Just simply because the all cards we had on the hand, they're not really useful. We're just gonna keep it. And the reason we are keeping it is just because we're having green mana and we're actually going to draw on the two cards. We need to use this for drawing the cards because at the end of the day, I mean, we don't really have anything else. So yeah, just two mana drop, then hopefully getting like a white mana. We can't really attack because there's going to be probably white winnie, like two mana white. So it's going to no, not yet. Okay. <gasps> we are not going to play. Ah! We don't have the uh, white mana. We need the white mana to play this. Sorry guys, my bad. Yikes. So... Like the worst scenario ever, isn't it? Although we can counter something, so. Nope. <laughs> Need white mana. Never had situation like that. Like we are actually not ha having the white color. It's funny. Although I supposed to probably do another mulligan, maybe that's my fault. Usually I'm good enough with that. That's going to be in a minute, yeah. And so I'm going to play the blocker. The blocker is going to do nothing in this scenario. So we might just maybe shut down that free free vigilance.
Um, we might do. I was like really keen to drawing the cards, but at the end of the day we are going to draw. We have like a four or five mana. We need uh, another land. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's a point to drawing. Do something with it. What do I want to do? I want to draw two extra cards. Uh, do we want to attack? Obviously, we don't want to attack. Um, really tricky. Tricky for me just simply because I want to play Depopulate because he's having already three cards on the table. I'm not going to do anything. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'll just draw two cards. I don't care. Uh, lucky me, right? <laughs> oh well, at least we're having the extra land, so I'm just gonna go with the angel. Yeah. Although we might just draw right now, the next card might be the purple light. Is it going to be? We are going to top deck? Obviously not. Okay, um, that's fine. But also we don't have the second extra white mana. Okay, so we need to look for the white mana. Um, that's alright. I'm just going to play the angel because there is no any other way around. Oh, right now, yeah, extra, another white land. Now we see, well, that's actually a good thing because we can counter all of those cards. So I'm really happy about that. Nothing on the hand, having some creatures. I don't even know what they are. And there we go. So four copies down, three copies. Sorry, excuse me, two from the library. One from the hand, which he played. And right now we can block everything what we want to block. I'm just going to block one creature, probably. But I don't know. I don't know yet what I really want to do. I think we're just going to block both cards, whatever they are. And then hopefully it's going to be a next card, Deep of Light. So, just blocking whatever. Oh my god. We need the Deep Light because we're dead. Like, really hard. Next turn. Oh my god. Maybe we're dead already. No, 3, 7, 9, 12, is it? We're dead already. How come? Now we are on one life. Aren't we? We? Yeah. Well, it doesn't really change anything. Unless, somehow, it's going to be depopulate. And, obviously, not. What's the next card then? Just want to check. Yeah. Oh well, shit happens, right? It happens. I think I just start with the wrong hand. But some sometimes it doesn't really matter, does he? Like um sometimes you just will have those bad hands. Okay, so we're having like 4 mana right now. And we will really want to go with it. We can excite the card, but then Depopulate doesn't really combine with the Lagrella. Then we have the Elspeth. I'm just going to do the Mulligan. Do I want to do the Mulligan? Do I want to do the Mulligan? 
I mean, I don't really want to do the Moonigan. I just need one more white mana to... I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, that's kind of no make sense. That's opening kind of... There we go. Sometimes you start starting with the hand with any sense to it. So, um, it's going to be white. I will see. Maybe we'll draw something exciting. We actually have in the land, which is already good. We can stall the game, but probably we won't for now. Um, yeah, we're just going to play the green, and then we are just going to press next, and then end of turn. Extra white, we're having the extra white. So we're good to go. We'll put our strange thing we want to do. And we are going to draw a card. Although, this is going to be like a huge thing, isn't it? So, I'm just going to eat this. Hum, hum, hum. Yep. And the reason why is because we actually having the land, which means we can do the 5 mana drop, and we don't really care about the drawing the cards right now. So, that's okay. For a while. And that's what we are going to do right now. I'm just going to pay free life in order to not be tapped, and we can just carry on with this. Strange thing, and do the minus three trick, which we looking at the top seven cards, and we can put one card. Unfortunately, it's going to be a land. So, with that being said, we're just going to do the evolving wise to. Wait, what? Is with the counter? It's with the counter shield. <laughs> Evolving wild the counter shield. <laughs> it's just gonna keep it. Just going to keep it because well if we're having the counter if you control creature with a counter well, that's not a creature, okay. Whatever. <laughs> ah, that was a funny funny thing. Okay. White one white land it is. Um doesn't really matter. We're not going to attack. Okay. So what we are going to do is just going to wait as long as possible. Um, although you might just choose the first strike. Or even do this is going to be Pranamet counter, right? I don't know what he's doing to do, what he's doing, but Yeah, there's going to be some buff into it. Oh it is, alright, okay. <coughs> This is actually really great because right now we can remove everything from the table. So that's cool. So I'm just going to crack a land. Do we? For mana and the free. Although we can draw the card from with the end as well if we're just going to play the blue land. Okay, so we're just gonna do like that and like that. Can we actually plus and just do like submit one just to have the counter? Yes, we can. Okay, so we need to end the turn, drawing two cards in a minute. That's why I like to, I wish to play the, like a Mira's Call, like three cards, just simply to be able to play the Angels. Something can just draw two cards. We need to draw something. We don't have anything on the hand. Um, unfortunately, there are lands again. Which is nothing really exciting, is it? Um, so, what we can do... I'm going to play like that. Uh, we can actually remove this tiger sort of things. No, we don't have a green mana, so... I'm going to search for green mana. Is it tough? I know, but um, it's alright though. So I'm just going to do like a plus one here. It doesn't really matter what we are going to put here. So right now we can tap this card. It's going to be tapped. 
until the next untap step. So that's good though because he are not able to attack right now. And obviously we can do the minus three in the minute. But also I really fond of trying to get minus seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with whatever with the plan. Uh... It's like a permanent counter with the first strike. Seriously, look at the uh, choose up to one target creature, put a 1 1 counter and a counter from among flying threats or lifelink and vision. This is like crazy, isn't it? Okay. So, um. This is instant. I'm just going to do like that and like that. No answer to it because he's tapped. And we can attack with both, but also do I really want to. No, I don't want to. I want to block. I want to do plus 7. I don't know how we are going to do the plus 7. I need to add the Vigilance to that 4-5 right now. Yeah, I can draw the cards, mine doesn't really matter. I need to add the Vigilance to this 4-5. Unfortunately, nothing really nice. With the land. To be vigilance. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Plus five life. Okay, so I need to add right now the first strike to this guy here. I just noticed right now the value of this card, how powerful it is, like it's crazy. Then we can just attack with this one. Although we don't need to attack with anything. I'm going to attack. We're having the vigilance, we're having the first strike. I don't know why he's blocking, but okay. <laughs> I don't know what's the reason behind it. It's like for our favor actually, because then we don't need to block several creatures when he is going to attack. But apparently he's not going to attack. We can do like five free free white angels creatures with flying. I mean do we we don't need to do this. Okay. I don't think so like those angels are good enough. We're having the first strike, right?
five three three. It's going to be fifteen damage. And then you just free free. Okay, I'm just gonna crack on with this. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just going to attack with this one. Don't you want to attack right now with the Lagrella because then when he, she's going to be dead, then he will receive the card back. And I think the angels will do. Like we just need two rounds, right? I don't know what he's doing, but. I'm going to attack with almost everything. Yeah, the angel's actually great. We have the counter spell. Well, it's nothing going to happen anyway. I mean, he will boost the creatures, but you are having like 39 life, so it doesn't matter at this point. So he can attack for like 12, 13 damage. He's going to be a little bit more, 14, 15, something like that, yeah. Doesn't matter. Oh wow, he's actually right now in the good spot. I'm just attacking with one? What's the point? I don't know, just didn't get that. What are we looking for? We're we looking for something to remove the 6-6 six, six flyer. Okay, so 15 damage it is, right? Depopulate. Oh, not yet. <laughs> it should be right. Like, there is no way he's going to add tons of life. Uh, I don't know still what he's doing, but... I, mean, I just don't understand. Like why he's not attacking with everything, like, yeah. Oh, I rank up. Silver free it is. Okay. I'm just going to have one more game. It's going to be last game for today. We'll see. This deck is a little bit slow. I'm probably supposed to fix something, but there is the thing like I'm not really spending a lot of time during the week. There is Elspeth. I really want to start with Elspeth. We're having like just two mana, but we're having like a nice two mana drops. But we'll see. With Elspeth, after all, Elspeth is the just good drop. What do we need? The spawn man in time we need the blue. And then like two white. And I don't know if we are able to do this, but we'll see. It's two mana, it's enough. To win the game. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> would be tricky. Well, we need just white mana. That's going to be a white mana right now. To draw two extra cards, uh, we might be good. Okay. The one green. I don't really know how I want to play it. Although I know I want to play it. <laughs> Something. Okay. Additional creature having the counters. That's not good, isn't it? That was a mistake, probably, me playing this. Uh, I'm supposed to draw two extra cards, although we might just remove this in a minute. Yeah. I'll just play Deep Polite. He's not going to attack. He wants that extra counters. Um... Okay. Yeah, we need like a deeper polite. Not like super right now, but definitely we need. I think I just done like a wrong order with everything. Now I should play the um, drawing the cards, right? To get that white mana. To be able to play the faster deeper play. I have the free four creature. We need to play this, right? But I bet he is having the removal spell. Yeah, we need to play this anyway. So with that, five, seven, almost. Well, at least the last game was good. At least the last game was good. I still have a hope. We need just one white to control the game. And win. Just wa white. One white mana. Yeah. So with that... He's probably having like 3 damage on the hand just to finish off. No? I think so. He's having like 3 damage. Well, it's, it's, it's lost. I don't think so. We're going to draw the white land. And also, I mean, I don't mind because it's a good time for me to finish off the game for today. So we'll see. Is it the top deck? Nope. It's not. Yeah, there wasn't even any lands for the next two turns. So there you go. Okay, though, thank you much, guys, for watching. See you guys tomorrow for the uh, draft. I actually have a token for the draft. It's going to be a Friday Magic draft, although it's going to be late one, I guess, like 9 or 10 p.m., just simply because I want to do everything what I want to do. Just workout and stuff well maybe i will be like nine or maybe eight we'll see so definitely the draft tomorrow for the token and then saturday i will prepare and create new deck and i really thinking about as you can see black blue white or white blue black 
I'm just called the random control, but um, it's going to be totally changed. I don't know what I'm going to play, but I will figure it out something. So it's going to be another control deck budget version. So stay tuned for that if you want to see some budget decks <laughs> in the silver Magic the Gathering. I, I think we can easily go to the gold or even beyond the gold with those decks. They, they, they don't need to be like a net decks to hit a um, platinum. I think so. At least we'll see about that. Actually, I really wonder. I almost finished, guys, but I actually wonder. Because I'm just playing, like, as you can see, this is basically my time I'm playing, like, this uh, one hour, or maybe one hour-ish. I just wonder what uh, rank I will be able to hit uh, for a month, playing a month. Hopefully, it's going to be platinum at least to get extra packs. But we'll see about that. Okay, though. thank you very much guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow for the draft game. And Saturday I'm doing the rank games, and Sunday I will try to do the sealed. There's actually there are sealed steer available. And I might do more sealed games. It depends how I will feel about it. So not just one, maybe there are going to be two. So we'll see how it goes. The last time I won five games, so uh, almost break. Even, even with uh, diamonds, because at the end of the day, if you lose every game, you're breaking even. But then every another game, you're getting the gems, which means... Uh, I said diamonds, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. And the gems on which basically you can play again for free if you are able to win everything. Well, not everything, just six wins. Okay, though, so see you guys for tomorrow action, the draft. See how it goes. Hopefully, fingers crossed, so it's going to be much better draft than the last time because the last time, the last Friday, was really crappy, though. So stay tuned for this one. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Take care and bye.